Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another Q&A with Dr. Jay Dunn from My Happy Genes. We've been talking about the idea of information in the world. There's so much information and there's a lot of misinformation. So some of these Q&As, we're going to address what we see, what Dr. J sees as a popular misconception about certain aspects of genetics and personal nutrition and that kind of thing. And we're going to start with turmeric. Now, I don't want anybody who loves turmeric or takes turmeric or has been told to take turmeric to feel like we're picking on you. We're not. Dr. J wants to clarify the fact that it may not be the panacea everybody makes it out to be for every genotype. So Dr. J, tell us about why turmeric may not be the answer for some people. Yeah, a good topic and a good question because the concept of one size fits all is, I think, harmful in the long run. Everybody's told, oh, you you should take this or you should take this. And it's it's kind of like confusing and maddening and overwhelming. And so uh, turmeric is interesting because it's everybody's got inflammation. So everybody should take turmeric because it's great at decreasing inflammation. And I'm an herbalist in my training. My teacher was a master herbalist and it was one of the most studies herbs on the planet. And he hit it pretty hard when we were going through school. And uh, so I was convinced that it was a really good thing. But as I got into genetics, I realized that it's never one size fits all. And actually turmeric can slow down the clearing of serotonin. And at first you might think that's a good thing. And for some people, it is a good thing because it increases serotonin and it helps their mood as well as decreasing inflammation and repairing joints. There's a lot of good benefits for turmeric. But for somebody who already has a genetic variant in their ability to clear serotonin or tryptophan, it can be very detrimental and it can send people completely the wrong way. And so, you know, again, it's back to that uh, biochemical individuality and the genetics can suss that out as to what things are good for you and what things are not good for you. Green tea is another example. There is a genetic variant that makes it detrimental for you to drink green tea and green tea is great. Everybody says, Oh, look, it's got all these antioxidants and it's amazingly healthy for you and free radical fighting and all that. But for certain genetic variants, it's actually a, a detriment and it can slow down the clearance of adrenaline for those people with that genetic variant. So again, it's never one size fits all and don't believe everything you hear and read. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And, or that your friends tell you is working for them or your sister, your mother, yeah. your brothers, even though we're genetically alike as a family, we are not genetically identical unless we're an identical twin, right? And in that case, there's still going to be gene variations, depending on the lifestyle of each of those individuals. I remember when you did my genetic profile, green tea came up that was not a good thing for me. And I really have had a love-hate relationship with green tea most of my life. I don't love it, but I thought, well, I should really be drinking it in the afternoon instead of my regular tea. And then you gave me the all clear. Don't worry about it. You don't have to take that. So sometimes people, it works in your favor to find out that you have a genetic variant that makes this not the ideal supplement for you. I wonder if you could say a little bit more about the clearing of serotonin. I understood what you said about some people want that serotonin to stay on board and not clear as quickly. But what happens when you can't clear it and you need to? Um, that serotonin builds up and it actually can back up a biochemical pathway that can cause irritation, agitation, aggressiveness. You find yourself getting really grouchy and irritable over things. Uh, maybe take a look at that. Take the turmeric out of your diet. I love Indian food, but I'm one of those people that can't clear that pathway correctly. And so I notice that I get very grouchy after I have curry. Like, what is the matter with me? Why is everybody pissing me off all of a sudden? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I forgot. That's it tastes so, so good. It's so delicious, but you know, it can make me a little bit wackadoo. So, and if you know that that is true going in, you can enjoy your curry and just sort of be aware of yourself afterwards. Right. And the, the cool thing about understanding the biochemistry of these things is you can take supplements that actually speed up the enzyme that clears that serotonin to kind of compensate for that delightful taste once in a while and uh, and not have it affect your relationships with other people. <laughs> yeah. And clearly for some people that are taking it, that have gotten joint pain relief and or whatever it's known for, I don't remember everything. There might be something that you could substitute, you know, a Boswelli or something, which we can talk right. about another time, but it's just that there isn't only one solution to a, a biochemical problem. Yeah, absolutely. And again, you know, it's an individual. So for some people, turmeric is like a godsend, you know, it's incredibly helpful to them for controlling pain, joint 
uh, inflammation and tissue rebuilding. It's known for its ability to speed up healing and um, tissue function. And so again, if it, if it works for if it works for you and you don't have that genetic variant, then more power to you. It's something to pay attention to. And I think, you know, you getting your genes tested is one thing. And I, I highly recommend that, but also paying attention to your body. Like, okay, I ate Indian food last night and I'm feeling really grouchy today, you know, or I feel fine. I feel really great. My joints don't hurt. So uh, just pay attention to those signals. Mm -hmm. Mindfulness about the body. Mind and I have to say to the listeners, you mentioned the word enzymes, and that is the subject of one of our upcoming Q and A. So if you're interested in enzymes, what they do and how they function in the body, stay tuned to our YouTube channel at My Happy Genes, where you can always find these Q and As. And head over to myhappygenes.com if you haven't already learned more about the company. You can buy your own test kit there and get the reports on your diet and lifestyle gene variations, so that you know what works for your body and what doesn't. Thanks, we'll DC. Yeah, sure. We'll be back with another Q&A.